Welcome to this look at uh, what's new in the Aviva Communication Drivers Pack 2023 R2. The main feature of the R2 release is the new OPC UA Methods client, which is part of the OPC UA client driver in the OI Gateway. To begin with, a method is defined as the procedure associated with an object, or a behavior of said object parameterized by a user. With OPC UA, this means that the object model exposed by an OPC UA server may contain procedures or behaviors that augment the state of the set object or its data. This simple example involves an object representing a dinner reservation, with attributes for when and who the reservation is for. The object also contains events, such as when the reservation is due, and a method that allows the user to cancel the reservation. Taking this one step further, there may also be an object that represents a specific table, which exposes a method for making a reservation. This method takes who and when as inputs and returns a confirmation if the table was successfully reserved. Let's look at a more industrial scenario, receipt management for a mixing unit. Here, we're configuring a SCADA application to allow an operator to pick which products to produce and to download the associated recipe to the mixer's controller. Traditionally, the transfer of the recipe from SCADA to a controller would be achieved by breaking down the recipe into individual scalar parameters and individually writing said parameters through tags to uh, corresponding tags in the controller. This poses a few challenges. First, a recipe may contain quite a few parameters, which means configuring and validating tens, hundreds, or even thousands of tags in case recipes are complex and if there are many mixing units. This can be a significant undertaking and may also result in compute overhead in both SCADA and the controller. Additionally, breaking the recipe into many tags causes a loss of coherency, a loss that may need extra application logic to mitigate. If the controller is able to validate recipes, there may still be a need to configure and validate additional tags to pass and capture the validation results from the controller to the SCADA. This is an excellent example of where OPC UA methods can help by maintaining the integrity of the recipe and by passing it to the controller in a single shot transaction that returns the result of a recipe validation by the controller, much like the dinner reservation we used as a previous example. Let's start by inspecting the OPC UA objects exposed by the mixer's controller. Browsing the information model, we can find that the mixer is there and we can see that it not only contains data, but also a method called assign recipe. The method takes the complete range of recipe parameters as input and returns output in the form of a boolean representing success or failure and a string containing validation findings. In a Viva application server, there's an object representing the mixer. This object derives from a mixer template, which implements recipe download as a standard capability of all mixers. Instead of using IO attributes to read or write the recipe piece by piece, the template uses the AA methods script library, which is new with version 2023 R2. This script library allows the declaration of a methods client which can then be used to construct and compose method arguments and to make the invocation of the method to the OPC US server, passing the identity of the server connection, the name of the object, i.e. mixer1, and the name of the method, assign recipe, followed by the recipe arguments, all those parameters. The script library also caters for the parsing and the capture of the results, that boolean that indicates the success or failure, as well as the string with the validation messages. The mixer also has a graphic that uh, implements the UI portion of recipe management for the mixer. Let's try this out. We start with the recipe for instant soup and hit download. The recipe was downloaded successfully, and we can go back to the OPC UA server to verify that the material IDs are indeed water and soup mix, and that the other recipe parameters were set correctly. 
Let's do hot chocolate next. We pick the recipe, we hit download. Uh oh, it seems that the controller rejected this recipe. Download failed and we received back two error messages. It seems that the recipe contains two errors. The duration should surely not be negative. And it seems that the recipe author provided a speed set point that exceeds the limit enforced by the controller. The takeaways from this demonstration is that methods is a communication pattern complementary to traditional read-write of scalar data points. The transactional nature of a method invocation can provide detailed information about the outcome. It helps us maintain data integrity and coherency by passing all information in a single shot. It also helps to simplify our applications and significantly reduce time-consuming repetitive configuration and validation of tags. All of which translates to lower risk, lower cost of implementation and ownership, increased reliability, and finally allowing SCADA developers to focus efforts on value-added work instead of repetitive and time-consuming tasks. The OPC UA methods capability demonstrated here is native to the OPC UA client in OI Gateway that already serves application server with traditional data access. But the AA methods ability of App Server is not constrained to OPC UA alone. Stay tuned for more things to come as we plan to leverage the methods pattern to enrich more types of data sources. We started with OPC UA, but there's more to come.